Hi there, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I will be discussing about AWS Candra. So it is a part of the AWS AI series that I have started. So basically, uh, I'll be discussing about how we can utilize this Candra in order to have some intelligent inter enterprise search service instead of having some traditional search solutions and how it make it easier uh, with its ML models and make it easier for the customers as well as the employees in order to search and information whatever they need and more accurate and appropriate information. So we can have in this one, I'll be showing you how we can start with Kendra, how we can create an index first, how we can have our own custom data source. So I'll be using one uh, PDF file that contains like IT help desk solutions, the basic questions that a user asks to the IT help desk. So I'll be using that one, that PDF as a data source. And I will also show you how to create a search experience demo. So it will help you to create the unified search experience, highly accurate answers, customize the search results. So with AWS Candra having a large language models that will help us to create a secure uh, generative AI powered conversational experiences also. There are multiple use cases that we can have from this. So let's proceed. So the basic knowledge, so how it works. Well, first we have to create an index where we will be adding our data sources. Then these data sources with the help of connectors, we can connect our file system, websites to crawl and Dropbox or Salesforce, SharePoint, relational databases also, as well as we can have also our Amazon S3 bucket. So I'll be using the last one, S3 bucket. Then we can have a test and deploy. We can create a user experience, basically an endpoint to which we can uh, like, you know, we can have a search bar over there and we can search those uh, like information. And we can also easily integrate to our existing application. So it is very easy to integrate also. So it helps you to like improve the customer interactions and how we can integrate search into our SaaS applications. So it's quite easy. So we, I will just move on to the console, but before moving into the console, I will show you something I have over here. So this is a PDF file that I have just copy pasted from like from the internet and that contains uh, multiple answers about like if your system is slow, what are the things you need to perform if your application crashes, what do you need to do? If you're having some internet connectivity issues, wireless signal issues, what you need to do, forward password, what are the basic steps you need to follow? So all the basic things I have mentioned in this PDF document. So this document, I have created one bucket over here and uploaded into this bucket. So I'm just using one PDF. You can have multiple PDF, multiple uh, data source, multiple uh, data, you can add it over here in your bucket. So this is the bucket that we will be using as a data source. So just a prerequisite. So if you uh, try to use the, for the demo purpose, so AWS automatically provide you S3 populated bucket, but I would recommend just use your own bucket and put some data PDFs inside it and just see how the search results are being shown to you. So that's why the prerequisite, just create a bucket and put some PDF file over here with some information or the answers that you want to find it out. So I will just go to the Amazon Kendra over here. Then I will first thing that I have to do is to create an index. So here I will create an index. So I will just create over here my Kendra index demo. And here, if you're having some IAM roles, you can choose. So I'm using mine, but uh, if you want, you can create your, you can just go ahead with the create a new role. So you can just type it over here, demo Kendra index. It will automatically be prefixed with Amazon Kendra and the region that we are in. And then click next. So here I'm not going with the tokens and all. 
just uh, I will keep it no option over here. Implement token based access control. That you can in the later stages you can also do that. And use the group expansion. I'm not going anything over here. Then here I'm choosing over here developer editions. You can see it provides 10,000 documents. It's quite huge in order to test the uh, functionality as well as the queries, how many it provides per day and runs one availability AZ. So you can use this edition to test the capabilities and you can have a proof of concept of your application in a dev environment. I'll just click next. And that's it. We can click on the create. So once the index has been created, our data source is ready, but we need a connector between both of them. So you can see this will take 30 seconds. Please remain on the page. Till it is creating. So you can see over here, we are creating the following index, my Canva index demo. It can take up to 30 minutes, but it won't take 30 minutes, but it, it takes around like five to 10 minutes in order to create index where we are going to add our data sources. So once this one is ready, the step number one, then only we can move on to the step number two. Okay, you can see it's ready already. So we can click on the next step that is add data sources. Now, you, I, this is what I was talking about, the sample AWS documentation. Like if you want to search about uh, Kendra, EC2, S3, and Lambda, you can just add this data set. So automatically it will search to those uh, resources, basically. So I'm not going to use this. So you can see there are lots of options are there. If the data sources are there. If you need some like information or details about this, so you can choose the particular one. Gmail connector is also there. So I will just go ahead with my S3. Where is my S3? S3, where is my bucket? Here is my bucket. So I will choose this one, Amazon S3 connector. Now here I need to my Canva data source demo. Then we can go ahead with the English by default. Next. Now here, there's one very important thing. We can have a fax and all also being created, but fax is like just a generic, like general uh, like questions and answers to that. We can have a separate uh, fax created. So for that, uh, different roles are required. For indexes, different roles are required. So make it sure you don't get confused. So I'm just clicking on the create a new role. And then while well, in the end, we can just do a cleanup of all these resources, or these roles and all. So my data source demo. And then no need of selecting the VPC and all, just click next. And select your bucket. So as I mentioned to you, I have created one bucket. And in that I have uploaded my PDF file. So this is the bucket I will choose over here. And then no need of uh, messing up with this uh, permissions and access control, just you can uh, go ahead with the full sync. This is what like new modified if you're adding some content to the same PDF file and all. So we can just choose, okay, only do the index, update the index based upon the new content, no need of always doing the full sync. So initially we need the full sync. So just I'm keeping it full sync. And frequency over here, I will just choose over here, run on demand. You can choose hourly, you can choose weekly, uh, monthly, or you can define some custom. So you can define it. So I'll just click next. So you can see over here, field mapping and all. I will not go through this, just you can just go ahead. No need of doing any mapping and all. So this our data source is ready. I am role. And that's it. Add data source. It will take some time.
Okay, so our data source. So you can see there is an option over here. I'll just click on the sync now because this sync now will do the crawling on our document. It will take some time. It may take depending upon the amount of content. So I'll just for the demo purpose, I've just kept it uh, quite a small amount of content over there. So it won't take time, but still it will take time, like four to five minutes. So it's a two-step process. First documents are crawled. So once the crawling is being done, you can see over here, uh, we are still, you can see, sync history just for the first time. So once this one is finished, we will uh, go ahead with our search indexed content. Okay, we just need to wait for it. Okay, now you can see over here, successful service is operating normal and current state is idle because it's not no more syncing, it has already synced. So this is the history over here. You can just check the history. Now let's go to the search index. Now here, let's say slow computer, something like that. So you can see over here, so this is from this PDF, Low performance, when it hits on slow, it can have productivity and all those things, and you can check the document fields and all those things. So if you want to click on this, it will just take you to that particular file. So this is how we can have our uh, search improved. So just like, let's say if I'm looking for keyboard, so you can see, if you want to change the options, relevance, create a date, data source, title, pack ID, file type. So these are the options you can test it. Okay, so this is just a like a search bar over here. Now, what we can do over here, there is a third option that we have over here that is creating experience. So once we click on the create experience, so my demo experience. And here we need to choose your data source. If you have multiple data sources, you can choose multiple data sources. Again, the role, so I'm creating custom role. So my demo experience, next. Why I'm creating always a new role because you know, it may have lacked some permissions and all the, the right permissions. That's why I don't want to get into details of that. So we can directly jump onto the new role. It will automatically provision those permissions. So here, if you're not having any user, you can just go to the dashboard over here and you can go to the users over here. So this is the IM identity center over here. Here you need to add a user. So username, email, confirm email, first name and last name, and just other things are optional. Once you have created the user, then only that particular user will be populated and an email will be sent to that particular user in order to accept the invitation. And then they need to put a set up a password and all, then only that user can utilize the, the endpoint, then the URL in order to search or in order to utilize the user this experience. So you can see I need to select this user and then click next. So create experience, won't take much time. So you can see over here, it's still creating. The good thing about it, once you delete the index is everything related to a data source, uh, 
experiences and all everything will get deleted. Okay, so this is the user experience. So I will just click on this open and experience builder. So this is a builder. You can customize this builder with some filters and all. So let's see. I hope I remember the password. This is the username. Okay. So this is how you can share with the other people in order to log in and out. You can define the groups, user roles and all everything you can define. And accordingly, you can give them the accessibility to it. So you can see uh, this is the normal live view. So you can see if I search for slow computer, so you can see it is showing you the documents and all you can just like it or dislike it. Wi-Fi, no result, network. So establish a network and all, diagnose. So these are the things that you can do search and all, and you can click on the switch to build mode and you can see we have over here in the design some UI component settings you can go to uh, and the language support, then you can have some over here text. Uh, date, numeric that you can add it on the top of it. And we have some general settings that is for the language and all. So this is what you can utilize it in all in your applications and all. So it is uh, the user experience that is being created. So you can publish and then you can, that's it. You can, once you make the changes, you need to publish it, then only those changes will be reflected. So I hope I was able to explain this AWS scanner and how to utilize this, how we can uh, utilize its search capabilities. So just to avoid any billing and all, so you can just go here, just go check whether there is some three months usage free is there for the developer environment. So you can just use it. You can just look into the terms and conditions. Maybe it depends upon the region and all but initially they are giving in order to try for three months for free. So once you delete this index, so you can see over here, it's giving to confirm to choose and all, need to pause. I'm just choosing this option and just click on the delete. So it will automatically delete the data source, the connector one, not the bucket and the file. The bucket and file will remain there. Yes, it will delete the uh, index, the resource and the experience that we have created. So I hope you like my video. So please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.